crawling for two and a half years to see us. Well, you shouldn't have walked out halfway. It got better. <laughs> you give me that it got better bullshit. It took me two and a half weeks to storm out of that theatre. <laughs> I heard everything anyway. It did not get better. Two people sitting around for two hours waiting for someone who never shows. Riveting. What was that bloody idiot's name? Estrogen. Estragon? Whatever. <laughs> he should have just said, where's Gordo? He's not here. <laughs> Fuck him! Let's go! <laughs> That's my point with these humans. See, you and I learned valuable lessons. The way we act on those lessons is what the humans look to us for. Valuable lessons? What valuable bloody lessons? Ah, well, uh, we know we should read the theatre guide and the reviews before we set out to find something we both like. <laughs> anyway, it was better than that movie you took us to. If you don't appreciate the atmosphere that a film like Babette's Feast creates to <laughs> climax almost literally to a crescendo of gastronomic indulgence and euphoria together with its obvious metaphoric undertones, then you have no right to get up on your soapbox and start prattling on about culture. I wanted to top myself within half an hour of that! A Danish food gathering film! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Just let it be, Jim. It's all inevitable. It's not! Look, if our forefathers had the same attitude as you, we'd have been overcome by the elements centuries ago. You can see it happening to the humans. Well, wherever we would have been, it would have been a hell of a lot quieter than here.